Hello there, it's a brand new Monday and a great time to be alive. Welcome to FinSmart Podcast Series, a production of UKDion Investment Limited. FinSmart means financial smartness and all we do here is give you information on what you need to be financially smart. On today's episode of FinSmart, we'll talk about a topic we call the road less traveled. The quest for real financial freedom could be a pretty long journey. Many people who see the need to secure their financial future through investments do embark on this journey. However, just as several roads could lead to a destination, people could follow different roads to achieve financial liberty. Majority of these people follow a particular and very popular road, while just a few follow a second route. The second route is what we refer to as the road less traveled. Those who tend to follow the road less traveled are hugely successful at investment, while the road majority of investors ply bring them normal reward that can't be compared to the former. Your approach to investments actually determine the road you're applying and thus the level of success it will yield for you. It's FinSmart podcast series. Just in a moment, would we'll unravel what investors who ply the road less travel do that is different from the majority who ply the popular road. The first thing that investors who ply the road less travel do is acknowledge that there will be a few losses. Investors who get huge profits don't achieve their success by making profits all through. They are aware that there will be a few times when the chips will be down and consequently interest or profits might not be forthcoming. Unlike the majority who would liquidate their investments at the slightest economic glitch, the consistency and patience of the few on the road not often traveled earn them the fattest bone in their investment venture. While patience is a key for investors who want to hit it big, it is also very important to know that patience can only earn you huge rewards when you are financially smart and knowledgeable. The next point explains it better. The second thing that investors who ply the road less travel do is an exhaustive research on financial institutions. They painstakingly examine the quality of the investment companies they put their money in. You also have to look at the integrity of the company and if they keep to their promise. Your own research of desired financial institution must be based on facts, not opinions, and they must be obtained from trusted sources. People's advice can be considered and verified, but it shouldn't be the sole reason to commit to money. You also have to be certain that the investment company where you want to put your money is regulated by the Security and Exchange Commissions SEC. We bet that you're always good to go with a financial institution that is SEC regulated. It is still FinSmart Podcast Series, a production of UKD on Investment Limited, created to keep you financially smart. This edition talks about what a certain few investors do to be more successful at investments than others. We established that a few ply the road less traveled. The third thing that investors who ply the road less traveled do is invest big. A universal rule that most investors know is diversification. That is not putting all their eggs in one basket. In other words, it could be investing their capital into more than one name or financial institution. Diversification is a good rule of thumb, but it can also diminish your profits when one of the financial institutions you picked makes a big move while other names don't. Anyways, investors on the road less traveled rarely diversify. They keep their investments in one financial institution or sector. Finally, the fourth thing that investors on the road less traveled do is invest for a long time. Keeping investments for a long time is what many of the best investors do to amass their riches. It is okay to invest on a short or medium term, but retaining investment for long is the difference between those who get normal rewards and those who get great profits. It's FinSmart Podcast Series, a production of UKD on Investment Limited. So far, we've been talking about what people who get huge profits from investments do. We said, one, they acknowledge that there will be a few losses. 
two they do an exhaustive research on financial institutions they want to invest in three they invest big and four they invest for a long time these four factors separate investors from investors look out for the big investors in the world and you'll find out that the four things mentioned here is a steadfast strategy or rather a set of rules that distinguish them from other investors so if you don't have your own carefully crafted rules for investing kindly adopt these four on this note we'll draw the curtains on today's episode of FinSmart's podcast series until next week again when we bring you more tips on how you can be smart financially Thank you.